Hey, hi, what's up? My name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel and good morning. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me featuring the Huda Beauty chocolate brown palette. Uh, I've already used this a few times and I'm getting ready to post a review of this on my Instagram. I'm doing a meet my palette series. So I thought I would come on and do a look with you guys as well. If that sounds fun, be sure to stay tuned. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell before you leave just so you're notified of all my future uploads. Oh yeah, and don't forgive, forget to give it a uh, thumbs up if you enjoy it as well. I'm just going in right now and priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Potion Primer. This is literally my holy grail eyeshadow primer ain't nothing creasing with this baby on my lids i can tell you that right now and if it does it's usually the eyeshadow just because this is that good i also decided to zoom it in so that you guys can hopefully see a little bit better um let me know if you like it when i'm this close or if you would before i just step the step the fuck back let me know right now i'm just gonna go into my tati beauty palette and i'm gonna use that aura shade there to set everything if i'm looking like over um this way that is where my mirror is i still haven't mastered the art of looking into the mirror of the palette and i don't know if i ever will Okay, the next step in my routine, once I have that all set and ready to go, is I go ahead and get my brows cooking. Um, so I'll just take a setting spray and then um, my pear soap and I'll spray in there and dip my spoolie in and coat the brows with it just so this can kind of set throughout the makeup process. By the time this goes up, I hope I'll have my new brow gel in. I'm currently on the hunt for one. Um, if you watched my vacation get ready with me video, you know the brow gel I was using literally just stopped working. Um, I tried the NYX brow glue recently and unfortunately it did not work for me, which, you know, is okay. That happens, but it didn't work for me. Um, it just didn't have enough hold, unfortunately. Uh, so I went ahead and returned it and I picked up the ABH Brow Freeze. Unfortunately, it hasn't came in the mail yet. I'm going to go in with this shade here just to kind of start slowly building things up. But yeah, it hasn't come in the mail yet, which I am not patiently waiting for it. I need, I need a brow gel, you guys. I need those babies to stick up and be their fluffy selves. I hate like slim brows on me. It just doesn't work for my preference. Yeah, and this shade is actually um, quite a bit darker than I thought it would be or that it looks in the pan. But anyways, I have a couple Huda palettes. Um, I have the Topaz Obsessions, which is gorgeous. Uh, and then I also have her new new palette, which I don't know, I like had to have it, but like I don't really like pinks on me, so I don't use it that much because the whole thing is pretty pinky, like mauvey undertones. But I do know that I absolutely love the Huda formula and you you can't tell me any different. So, um, hmm, what do we want to do today? I think that maybe I will go in to this like orangey brown shade and then we'll pair it with this shimmery purple on the top maybe that will look pretty um i don't know so yeah going into the shade here and applying that she's she's a deep girl dang look at that but uh yeah i love huda's formula it honestly in my opinion is probably one of the best the mattes like look at that you guys look how easily it's just like blending out. I'm not even having to work for it. It's not patchy. Um, I love this formula. 
I might get a lot of hate for it, but I mean, I recently tried out the Natasha Denona bronze palette. And I think that this Huda formula, I don't even think it competes with an ND formula. I think that it blows it out of the water. Um, which, you know, I'm sure a lot of people don't feel that way because we have through some ND stands and that's okay. But in my experience, this formula is just as good, if not better. Plus, you're getting a way better value um, in terms of, like, product and amount. So, I don't know. That's just my little two cents on that. Like, so pretty. Right, now I'm going to go into this shade here. Um, it's like a um, little bit harder of a shimmer formula. And I'm just going to go in my finger and... Start taking that all over the lid. It's a really pretty, um, like, chocolatey shade with, like, some purple hues. Someone's driving by, so. Of course, my dogs have to bark. Or someone would think they're not doing their job. So, yeah, I think that that's really pretty. And then I'll probably take some of this purple on the outer corner as well, just to kind of like deepen things up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this purple shade here, and that's what I'm gonna use on the outer corner to just create a little bit more depth since the uh, lid shade got a bit deeper. I feel like the angle the cam camera's at, I'm like not straight on. I'm at like a weird angle. Okay, now that I have my eyeballs where I think I want them, I'm going to take my Glow Lust from Auric. And I apply about a pump of this. I literally use this shit every day. It's so good. I love it, love. And I'm just going to gently rub it all into the skin. Next product, product I'm going to use is my concealer. This is from Dose of Colors. I currently have the shade um, 11, which is light medium, I believe. And this is my Holy Grail concealer. It's seriously so good. I'm obsessed. I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush, by the way. Um, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, and I recently just got the foundation brush from my friend Taylor. We do a wish list swapped. And it was on my wish list. So I recently just got that. I used it yesterday. It's also incredible. <laughs> there we go. Now I have that blended out. I think I want to do... Um, I have court later today, so I think I want to do um, kind of like my go-to, which is like a cream base, a powder foundation um, type of look. So I'm going to grab my e.l.f. stipple brush. I love this thing. I'm going to start with my bronzer, which this is the Half Cake Bronzer um, shade Morning View. Look at that. Dippy, dippy, dippy. Um, I think I'm going to hit, hopefully going to hit pan on this this week. And I'm just going to take my finger in and start applying it. My finger. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. brush. And I am just going to blend it out. Um, you can go right in with your brush if you want to. I definitely have and I do sometimes. I just take a lot of um, photos on my products. And when I'm like dipping in and out with my stipple brush, it makes a look kind of gross because it um it's stippled so it has it looks like that in the pan um so that's why I don't really do that um but <clears throat> this shade is more of a cool tone their um, next lighter shade 
is the uh, You Were So Last Summer. And it is like a lot warmer. It's the one I prefer. I just, you know, I know I was close to panning this, so this is why I'm using it. And pan party. I knew it. I knew it. That's so exciting, you guys. That's how much, I mean, like, yeah, these products aren't super deep, but I mean, I've used them like pretty religiously because I just, I love them. I recently hit pan in the year so last summer one, which is why I brought this one out. And I was like, man, I'm pretty sure that I could probably, probably pretty close on both those. So that's why I've been working on this one. But yeah, I really, I just love it. They blend out so nice and they look, and they look so nice. <laughs> the next product I'm going to apply is blush. This is from Phyto Surgeons. This is a newer brand to me. And I'm already obsessed. <laughs> like It's all I can use. Uh, I have the shade Smolder. And this is such an interesting um, texture. See those stipple? That's what I was talking about. Those stipple brush marks. Um, but the texture is like almost like whipped. And I just go in with a little bit of this and start blending it out because it is pigmented. And I am going to be going over this look with a powder foundation. So that gives me a lot more room to work with a pigmented blush. Because the powder foundation is going to dull it a little bit. So I can go in with this pretty nicely. But like, look at that shade. This shade is insane. It is so beautiful. And yeah, I started taking my blush all the way in and around my nose lately. Who am I? I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to be with the times <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. Wow, this is like a pretty chatty get ready with me. Sorry, guys. Chit chatting. I feel like I haven't um, filmed a YouTube video in forever because the stuff that went up last week was mostly pre filmed, like before I went on vacation or um like or right after I got back so I haven't really like filmed in a minute and I know that this looks crazy right now but um trust the process trust the process I feel like there are a lot of those moments in makeup where you just it's a process you gotta trust it it'll it'll come out usually the way that you want so that's what i'm gonna do for that and then i'm also gonna use another product from phytosurgeons that i've been really loving this is their they call it uh, spectral shine um i have the shade dew of dawn which i think is a really great shade for me in the summer months and i'm just gonna take a uh Elf stipple brush again. This is like the bigger one. Swirled around in here. Um, oh yeah, I have the shade Dew of Dawn, which I think is a super great shade for me in the summer. I'm going to pick up a shade lighter for in the winter. And I already know I'm going to pick it up because I freaking love it. Like, it just adds like, like, look at that glow. Look at that glow. It is so good. I'm, I'm literally... I'm obsessed with it. I've had these products for about two weeks now. And um, yeah, I literally use them every day, you guys. Every day. And then, let's see. I'm going to use, trying to find the powder brush I used yesterday. I have a sample of the um, Tatcha Silk Powder that I got. Also on my wish list swap. And I used it yesterday to set my under eye. And I'm going to go ahead and use it again today. I'm going to use it until it, um, <laughs> until there is no more. But honestly, just like first impressions after using it yesterday, I was pretty impressed. I know a lot of people were like, eh, it was okay. So like, maybe I just have never tried a good powder before, but, um, 
yeah, I think it's really nice. So that's what I'm kind of trying out right now as well. And then I'm trying to think, what do I, what do I do next? What do I do next? Oh, powder foundation. You know, you think I've had this all like laid out in front of me, ready to go. But here I am reaching around, digging, trying to figure my life out. I don't know. Um, I'm going to use the Tarte one. This is the shade 33N. As you can see, I repressed it again because it was getting hard to uh, pick product up. I have a small amount left now. And I recently just updated my Project Pan stuff. So I'm hoping by the next update, I will have finished this up. Um, I did already purchase a replacement, but I got the um, shade that's between 15N, which is my winter shade, and then this shade because honestly, this shade is more most of the time like too deep for me. Um, and I have to bring it down the neck a little bit, but so I'm gonna try the shade in between and see if that uh, works better for my skin tone. I think it will. I'm just using like a stamping motion for the most part. I picked this tip up from um, Jackie Ina and I will never probably go back. I love a cream base with a powder foundation over the top. It's so easy and it's so quick. Like literally, this is my go-to in the morning if I'm going to the office. I just like, it's what I do, it's what I do. See how nice that looks? It looks so good. Like it's not over the top, like the blush isn't. So even though it looked like it was about to be wild, the only thing is my face doesn't <laughs> match my neck. <laughs> but it's okay. I feel like more often than not, it never does anyway. So, oh well, oh well. I'm just gonna brush my brows back up and I think I'm actually gonna add um a little powder to highlight as well I'm just gonna take the one from my project pan which is the physician's formula in rose gold and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the high points And to the tip of my nose. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I'm going to finish up the under eye. And I'm just going to dip back and forth. I'm going to start with this on the outer. And bring this in underneath. To just kind of um, connect all the colors we have. <laughs> pretty good about that which I do um I normally go in and I will line the lower lash line just with this is my covergirl um ink it black liner this has been a holy grail for like 10 years for my waterline I love it I love it you know that song I'm talking about now I'm gonna have to listen to it mm-hmm Okay, now once I have that done, I actually think I'm going to go in and fill the brows. Um, hopefully, <laughs> my brow gel gets here soon. It literally shipped before the rest of my Ulta order. And it, like, they did that thing, you know, where they're splitting them up. This is an e.l.f. brow lift pencil, by the way. Um, and they literally, the, the brow freeze shipped two days before the rest of my order and it's like stuck a state away and the other stuff is going to be here by like today or tomorrow I'm like seriously the brow freeze is what I need right now because I don't have that product uh, and the majority of that order was replacements honestly which can we talk about how much replacement orders suck because <laughs> it's so expensive and it's not even like you know, fun, new stuff. It's like, here's all the shit that I absolutely love. 
but I'm out of it, so I have to buy it again. It sucks. I hate replacement hauls. <sighs> but yeah. Gonna attempt to do this on camera, but now I'm going to uh, line the eyes. This is my Tarte Sex Kitten liner. This is legit my holy girl liner. I went through like a billion of these. Okay, so they're not perfect, but honestly, when are they? When are they? Now I'm just gonna go into the Urban Decay uh, All Nighter setting powder i really love this only thing is it's not translucent i don't know if you guys can see that line um it's not there's like a tint to it i wish that it was translucent that would make it so much better um but i use it it sets everything in so nicely i love i love i love that is just the only thing is that it's definitely not translucent it's not so i went ahead and curled my lashes and i'm gonna go in with the major pleasure mascara from nabla i'm really liking this um i wish it had like a tad more volume but overall it is lengthening it does give me some volume uh i haven't had any transfer but I still think that the um, Kosas Big Clean Mascara is my holy grail. Um, I thought this was going to be a pretty close contender. But if I recall correctly, I get a lot more volume from the Kosas one. I want to repurchase it so bad. But you guys, I have like, I don't know, six or eight other mascaras to try <laughs> and I know that if I um buy the big clean and I open it I'm not gonna use anything else so maybe I'll go through this tube and one more tube then I'll take a break and get my Kosas one and then go back to like testing um other mascaras I feel like I might do that but yeah I usually do two coats of this I layer it up looks really nice like I said I just think the Kosas one provides a little bit more volume now I'm looking at my lippy drawer because you know I didn't plan this out um and I think I'm just gonna add like a something like neutrally nudie comfortable since I'm gonna be at home for like uh, another three hours before I have to leave. So I'm going to use, I just recently got this. It's the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Coconut. I got this in my wish list swap. I saw a few people raving about these, so I wanted it. Mm, has really nice light pigment. Kind of like a your lips but better kind of moment feels really comfortable i'll be interested to see like kind of how it wears uh but yeah this is the full look this is my um oh well dry shampoo this is like my full routine when i'm getting ready um what i usually do the order that i usually go in i hope that you guys enjoy this style of get ready with me and don't, be sure, uh, la, 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 la. don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Okay, bye.